Meanwhile, the black case against a Bismarck woman has been dismissed. Cassandra Black Elk pleaded guilty to child neglect in the death of her infant daughter last year. She had served about half of her 18-month sentence when a judge called for a new trial based on autopsy results showing the child died from unexplained sudden death. Bella Kraft is here with more. Bella? Alan Monica, shock and relief. That's what attorneys for Cassandra Black Elk say she felt when she heard the news that her case had been dismissed. Black Elk was arrested and taken into custody last February, and she wasn't released until pri from prison until a year ago. One attorney says it was Black Elk's determination to prove her innocence that helped exonerate her. On Thursday, Burley County State Prosecutors filed a motion to dismiss the child neglect case against Cassandra Black Elk. They say after having met with law enforcement and reviewing the case file, they no longer believe there's sufficient evidence to convict her, and saying a dismissal of this manner is in the interest of justice. It was a profound injustice to Cassie, but it's the right outcome and um, it couldn't have come at a better time. It was an 18-month battle for Black Elk. In May 2022, she was sentenced to 18 months in prison after taking advice from her attorney to plead guilty to child neglect. That was before autopsy results revealed her infant died of sudden infant death, or SIDS. And uh, the fact that she actually herself, through her own diligence and her own work, from a prison cell managed to get a copy of that autopsy report, which is what started all of this, uh, is pretty amazing. With the help of the great North North Innocence Project and two new attorneys, Black Elk filed for post-conviction relief. A judge ordered her release pending a new trial. Burley County prosecutors appealed that decision based on their belief that she was intoxicated at the time and the case went to the North Dakota Supreme Court. I think that Cassie thought that the state was going to continue along this unjust path until there was a trial and frankly so did we. And so I think we were all surprised by the state's decision yesterday. Her attorney says though the case has been dismissed, Black Elk had mixed emotions, relief that it's over, but sadness because it doesn't bring back the child she lost. She has now been reunited with her two other daughters. The state asked that the case to be dismissed with prejudice, meaning she cannot be retried on the child neglect charge in her infant's death.